The mid-1960s was a time when we came to realize that there were really profound changes happening across our society and especially in America's cities. And policymakers became aware that they really didn't know a lot about the opportunities available, the constraints, um, the life experiences of the people whose frustrations were literally erupting on our television screens in the riots in our cities. And we were born of that moment to help provide both that factual understanding and an idea about which of the thousands of solutions that were being bandied about, what might actually work. We have made enormous strides from the 1960s, but we face every bit as profound challenges today as we did then. Today we are looking at a society whose demographic composition is vastly different than many of us still have in our mind and in our impressions. We are looking at very different patterns of urbanization and human settlement across our country and across the world. And we are wrestling with large problems of economic opportunity and inequality and trying to understand what that means. We live in the era of data. Big data, small data, data everywhere. And that's wonderful. But it's also information overload. And people need to be able to know what information they can trust. Where's the source of information that's relevant to the question that they face? Urban is uh, a wonderful translator from a sea of information for those who are trying to figure out what information they should act on and how to inform the choices they make in a time-effective way. Research is at the foundation of everything we do at the Urban Institute. And through the research, we examine what's working, what isn't, and use it to help find new solutions. Our new digital presence, our website, provides an opportunity to mine and unlock this vast trove of 45 years worth of research and draw relevant insights to, for today's problems from it. But it also includes engaging videos, graphics, and short pieces that tell stories about how policy works for real people in real communities and for our economy. And our digital web transformation is designed to always rest on that underlying foundation to put information before the audiences who most care about it when they most need it. And I think the credibility that we have, the trust people have in our methods and independence, that um, capacity will continue to be called upon to elevate the debate.